too far to turn back now. I come too far. I come too far to turn back now. They be dunk, yeah, so do the liquor That we put inside our liver just to separate pain From our minds and hell the last smoke to the brain and my Oh man, oh man, what's the business? You already know what time it is It's your folk Marquise And welcome to another episode of Plan Maturity That's right, Plan Maturity Here at Plan Maturity, we're here to deliver a message of maturity To millennials and their manners in the effort to create the perfect citizen. So check this out. Y'all know what time it is. I pray that y'all enjoyed the video on last week. Last Mindset Monday, we discussed liberation. I pray that it was a blessed message for you. So we following up every Monday. Today's message, the word for the day is adversity. Adversity. So y'all know what time it is. I went ahead, looked it up. And when I saw the word adversity, I saw a state, a state or instance of serious or continuous difficulty. A state or instance of serious or continuous difficulty. Now we already know in our lives, we can look around and see adversity is a part of the human experience. But in this Black History Month, I'm focusing on those that came before us and their continuous display of courage in facing adversity. Now, I don't want to jump ahead of myself and talk about what next week's message is, but I want to talk about adversity. I've shared my testimony with many individuals uh, over the last decade, realistically, and I talk about the reality of adversity. And I bless the Lord for giving me grace and grit to continue to move forward past adversity. When I talk to these young people in schools and various organizations, I talk to them about adversity. If I go to a juvenile center or if I end up going to a jail, I say, look, man, I understand it's real, but you got to keep going. You facing adversity. You may truly be a victim of your circumstances. But your goal, your vision, should be to become a victor, B-I-C-T-O-R, a victor over your circumstances because you've overcome adversity. Shout out to my folks, Miss Allen. You know what I'm saying? Mrs. Allen, she got a shirt out there. Black History Month say overcome adversity. I might be wearing it next week already. Support your folks. However, what I want to encourage you to do is recognize the reality of adversity in your life and not run from it, but utilize it as a stepping stone to grow your character. Now, from what I've experienced, generally speaking, unless you're a sadist, S-A-D-I-S-T, people don't enjoy feeling pain. Naturally speaking, the body is designed, the body is designed to resist pain and to escape pain with the fight or flight responses of the human body, naturally when we come into a situation where we're trying to get away from danger, we resist pain. Not only do you resist physical pain or something hot you touch and you resist physical pain, we move and we operate to also resist and get away from emotional pain. We don't want to be around negative people that cause us anguish in our heart. We don't want to be around situations that make us feel less than. We don't want to be in situations that make us feel some type of weight. We don't want to be in those situations. So what we do is we move away from them. We move away from them. But one thing that I've learned is adversity grows character. Adversity grows grit. Adversity grows your courage. Adversity creates a diamond. Diamonds grow because of the pressure of the earth above it. Diamonds only grow because of the pressure of the earth above it. Because of the pressure and the heat of the magma. Without it, the carbon, which is all a diamond is, the carbon cannot become that diamond that we 
we enjoy seeing on our fingers and our ears and necks and teeth and earth. We can't enjoy the beauty of the diamond if it didn't go through that pressure and through that pain. So realize in your own life, if you don't go through the pressure, if you don't go through the pain, if you don't go through the reality of circumstances that we call adversity, then how can you shine? How can you shine if you haven't gone through that pressure? So though we try to run from it and hit the Heisman, begin to embrace adversity. Look at it for what it is. Look at it through the proper lenses. Assess it properly. And then utilize it as a learning tool, as a teacher tool. How can I grow from this situation? My kids, you don't understand. I came from the project. How can you grow from that situation? The projects create resiliency. The projects create a mindset of improvisation or improvising to get things done. Growing up in the, in the projects can make you more grateful when you do begin to get finances, when you do begin to get the breakthrough that you've been grinding and working to get. Growing up in the projects creates a humility. Yeah, it can create monsters, I know some. But it also can create wonderful people. In the words of Andre 3000, he said, I ain't a hood dude, but a dude from the hood. You know what I'm saying? And that's what this plan maturity is about. Taking this message of maturity growing up. You came out the jets, but you ain't gotta continue to act like you out the jet. My personal mindset, my personal belief, is that realistically, the projects are the projects in the way that they are because of how the people act in them. If we can begin to cultivate different mindsets, if we can begin to cultivate growth, if we can begin to cultivate love and maturity and entrepreneurship and things of that nature and deal with the drugs and deal with the the, the, the poverty, deal with the the, 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 the the males and the men not being in the households, and we can deal with these issues and family curses and all of these things, the, pro the project can be a beautiful place. But the lack of the man, the lack of the male figure, the positive male figure, because if you out there John Payne sagging and you know, you're slanging your dope and your, your pills and all that and you hurting your community, I get it, bro, I get it. I get it, we talked about that in Return of the Kings. I get it, I get it. But my thing is, at what point do you grow past that? At what point? If you're still slanging 10 years later and nothing has changed, then to me, even in the street code and you've been a, something, there's been a disconnect. So instead of utilizing the adversity to grow and create something different, you're becoming a victim of the adversity and the circumstances, and you're perpetuating the same death and the trap that you say out your mouth you're trying to escape from. So this is your folk, Marquise. It's gonna be much more of this to come. I apologize for the hiatus. I faced a lot of adversity and even internal adversity. And I gotta be willing and able to look in the mirror and say, I gotta get myself together. I gotta fix my character. I gotta be consistent. I can't allow what's going on to continue to hold me back and to allow myself to even think that those things are. I gotta address my own issues and circumstances and say, no, this was I was, this is what I was called to do. This is what I'm gonna produce. This is what I was called to do. This is what I'm gonna run into and provide that value that's necessary for those individuals that need to hear it. It's your folk Marquise, man. I'm so excited about what's to come. Keep your eyes open. We got some, some major things coming, some major things on the way. I'm super excited. You already know what time it is. Think different, live different. Y'all bless.